Hello all. This session we will see the basics of functions in Python. How a function can be created and how it can be called in a Python program. So what is actually a function? Just like any other programming language, function is a group of relative statements that perform a specific task. And why we need a function? Yeah, definitely it helps to break our program into smaller and modular chunks. So error correction will be easy, understandability will be easy and the reusability of different code that is also possible with functions right and as our program grows larger and larger functions make it more organized and manageable. Furthermore it avoids repetition and makes the code reusable. And there are two different types of functions one is user defined functions which is created by the user to perform a specific task of our application and the second one built in functions which is already there are a set of functions predefined functions in programming language uh, in python also we have a set of predefined function we can use it without defining it just for example we have already used uh, functions like input print etc in our program right those are examples for built-in functions so well, let us see how a user defined function can be defined by the user and how it can be used in our program so this is a syntax for creating a new function def is the keyword defined the short form for define def then we can give a function name then parameters can be there it's actually optional then a colon should be there then we have the body of the function so definitely start with an indentation and optionally we have a doc string here document string it actually carries the information about the function it should be enclosed in triple quotes any number of lines can be here and following this doc string we have the set of statements that we can call it as a function body and finally we have a return statement it is also optional with an expression some value can be written that expression can be written here so this is the syntax for creating a function so the keyword def marks the start of the function header so this line is actually the function header the def keyword the function name optional parameters within parentheses parentheses also must then a colon this is a function header and a function name is used to uniquely identify the function function naming follows the same rules of writing python identifiers you already know the rules for writing a python identifier right same rules should be followed for writing the function name also parameters or arguments through which we pass values to a function okay we will see an example for those things and that is also optional and colon to mark the end of the function header and then we have an optional documentation string which is in short called doc string to describe what the function does and one or more python statements that make up the function body statements must have the same indentation level definitely just like any other block of statements all the statements within the function body should be in the same indentation an optional return statement to return a value from the function so here is a simple example for a function and uh, we are not using any parameters here and no written value here that's the simplest uh, form of uh, function and this function is intended to perform an addition to number addition so we are defining it by giving a name sum and we are uh, we don't have any parameters so blank uh, parentheses are there and uh, just uh, giving a doc string here this is to add two numbers just to give, describe the corresponding function and uh, since there is no parameters definitely the value should be assigned either directly assigned or we have to take a read from the keyboard here within the function itself here we are directly assigning a equal to 20 b equal to 40 and we are c is assigned as the sum of a plus b and here itself the inside the function itself we are trying to print the sum okay so this is how the function is defined actually so this is the last statement of the function here the function definition ends now we are uh, trying to call the function you can see the intonation this is the main thread of execution okay the definition uh, starts in the uh, same intonation this is the main thread of uh, execution so sum and parenthesis this is a function name with no argument right 
So this is a function called. So when we call this function, of course the control will move to this function definition, execute it and the result will be displayed. So this is how, this is a function definition and this is a function call. So we can differentiate uh, using this indentation. Okay, indentation, this is the main thread of execution and this is a function body execution. So this is an example for no parameter, no return value function. Now let us uh, see some other variants of this uh, function. The second version we are using with parameters but no return value. That means uh, we are uh, taking the input from uh, the main main program. Okay. And uh, but we are not uh, passing any value back to the caller. Okay. So the definitely result should be displayed here itself. We can see here definition of this function. We are using those two numbers to be added as arguments or parameters. So that value will be passed from the main program and main thread. Okay. So whatever may be the uh, corresponding values, the sum of those values we are assigning to C. So this act as a dummy variables or we can call it as the formal parameters. Okay. And the sum of those formal parameters are assigned to C and we are trying to print the value here itself because we are not uh, returning back the sum to the main program. So this is a function body only two different statements are the okay function definition ends here. Now let us see how it is called because we are passing the values to this function okay, input values are passing from the main thread to this function right. So uh, that uh, variables are assigned value here x equal to 20 y equal to 40 and sum of x y we are calling this function with two arguments this 20 and 40 we are passing through this uh, form actual parameters. So this x and y are actual parameters in which we have this values 20 and 40. So when we call this function it will move to this definition and the position based on the position the first argument value will be assigned to the first formal parameter second argument value will be assigned to second formal parameter so now a is assigned 20 and b is assigned 40 right that will be uh, assigned to the sum will be assigned to c and that will be displayed in the function itself so this is a example for a function with no with parameters but no return value okay now the third variant of this function, no parameters but with return value. That means uh, we are not taking the value from the caller function but we are uh, passing back or returning back the result of our function computation into the caller. So definitely in that function definition, values should be given within the function itself, right? No parameters are assigned. So values should be assigned here itself. So we are assigning a equal to 20, b equal to 40 and sum is assigned to c and we are returning the values. So we are not printing here but we are passing value back to the corresponding caller. So we are assigning that value returned by the sum function into s. So we are calling this function sum here. Definitely this function will be executed then the value will be returned right that uh, return value we are assigning to variable s and after that we are printing in the main thread itself the value. So this is the third variant of the function definition and call and the fourth variant that is function with parameters and with return values. So in the function definition itself uh, <coughs> and the fourth type of functions that is with parameters and with return value. In that case, uh, we can use this formal parameters to take the values from the caller thread. Okay. And we are assigning those values, sum of those two values into C and returning the value. And uh, here we have the fourth variant of this function that is with parameters and uh, with return value. So we are uh, taking these two formal parameters to take the values from the caller, right? A and B and assign the sum to C and we are returning the value back to the caller thread. 
so of course the main thread that we have to assign variable values right either we can assign from keyboard or from directly uh, values can be assigned so this uh, x and y we are assigning values and calling this sum by passing those two values as parameters and what we are doing return value will be assigned to s okay. and the value will be printed here so these are the four different variants of uh, function with parameters with return values and the four different combinations okay now let us see another example for this function definition and use uh, with a small uh, function to find the maximum of two numbers so we are using this uh, function with arguments so those two numbers uh, are passed as arguments x and y and the function in definition is like this if x is greater than y we have to find the maximum of these two numbers right so if x greater than y that means x is the largest one right so then uh, return x otherwise return y that means if this condition is uh, not holding that means uh, y is larger right then return y so you can note here that there is no need of an else statement even right because if this condition is holding definitely this return is executed right never it goes to this return return y so only if this condition is false this return will be executed so there is no need of an else and in the main thread we are taking those two numbers as values from the keyboard using the input function first number is assigned to a and the second number is assigned to b then we are printing the corresponding maximum value by calling this function max of uh, this a and b directly we are printing here in the main thread because uh, this max function returning the value right whatever may be the biggest that will be returned by this function let us see one more function this function is to find the absolute value of a number so function definition is uh, this function is with the uh, argument okay the number to be converted into its absolute value is passed as an argument to this function and the function doc string is like this this function returns absolute value of the entire number and the definition of the function is like this if number greater than or equal to 0 in that case we can return the corresponding number itself right that's absolute value if the number is negative in that case we have to return the value itself without uh, uh, the sign right by removing the sign by negating the result we will get the absolute value so return minus sum so this is the function definition and uh, we can see here first if we call the corresponding function by passing 2 as argument, we will get the result as 2 itself, right? Because this uh, if part will hold, the condition is true, return num, that will be executed. And the second call, absolute value of minus 4, if the argument is minus 4, when the function is executed, what happens, this condition is not true, the else part will be executed, return minus num. So minus of minus 4, that will be 4 itself, right? That will be the output. So this is how this function works.